All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Thanks everyone for joining us today. My name is Morgan Science. I am the product education manager here at JotForm, and I'm very happy to have you joining us for today's webinar, where I'm going to be talking about a new exciting payment integration option, Link, powered by Stripe. Link, which you can enable using either Stripe or Stripe checkout integrations, fills in your customers' saved information so that they can check out in seconds. This leads to happier customers, faster transactions, and higher conversion rates. You can use Link in your forms, apps, and stores. Uh, today's session is going to be pretty short. We're looking at 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to give you an overview here and then a demo, and I will share some resources at the end. And uh, if we have any questions, I will be able to answer one or two toward the end of the session as well. So first, uh, I want to talk about why Link. Studies show that nearly 70% of people abandon their online shopping carts. When a recent survey asked people why they abandon their shopping carts, 17% of respondents said that it was because of a long or complicated checkout process. That means that seven out of 10 potential customers abandon their carts and nearly one out of five do so because they don't wanna deal with whatever the checkout process is in front of them. Link is a really easy way to address that. It's simple and secure for your customers, but it's also incredibly easy for you to add to your forms as well. Link users can add multiple payment methods to their accounts. Payment methods are detected at checkout and autofill, and they can manage shipping, billing, and any other information in their Link account so that all of their data is available, correct, and ready to go when it comes time to check out. A global Stripe survey showed that Link-enabled checkout increased conversion rates by 7% and that customers were typically able to complete their checkout process in about six seconds. So really a win for everyone involved. How does it work? It's super straightforward and easy. On your end, all you need to do is use Stripe or Stripe Checkout. For Stripe, you'll enable Link using the Link toggle and in Stripe Checkout, you'll see Link added automatically. JobForm never charges additional fees for payment gateways, so there's nothing to worry about there. On the customer's end, they'll need to have or create a Link account to benefit from Link's features, but they can also choose to check out without using Link as well. If they do have a Link account, they'll be asked to sign in with their email address. If they don't have an account but would like to create one, they'll also have the option to do that at checkout as well. So there's really no reason not to use this feature. It's easy to set up, it benefits Link users, and it doesn't change anything for folks who don't use Link and aren't interested in using Link. As far as benefits go when it comes to security, Link is, uh, <clears throat> Link is PCI certified to meet the most stringent security standards uh, certification in the payment industry. Additionally, payments are encrypted with leading encryption standards, and Link requires multi-factor authentication via text or email, which you should see as I try to log in today. Transactions that require additional security may even include a secondary verification. So these are all things that benefit both you and your users. And on that note, I'm going to take us out into today's demo. We'll come back to slides at the end for some resources. Uh, so I'm starting today's demo here, logged into my JotForm account with a form pulled up. So this is a form that I have in process. Uh, this is a check a, a purchase form for a Halloween themed bakery, Spooky Sweets. So I've designed the form. I have a pickup uh, date added here, a date field added here. But what you notably don't see yet are any actual products. So in order to add those products in, I'm going to go to add form element and navigate to the payments menu. So the second menu here. And from here, I'm going to add my payment gateway where I can also add in products. So again, when it comes to link, you want to use Stripe or Stripe checkout. So I'm going to use Stripe in this case. I'll just drag and drop that wherever I want it to appear on my form. And a couple of things that I want to point out that happen when you do that. First, you'll see that this menu pops up along the side. You can also access the same menu at any time by looking for the wand icon payment settings and clicking on that. So anytime you need to adjust anything here in your payment settings, you can do that easily from there. I also want to point out the two elements that you see here for the payment uh, settings, the payment gateway or the payment fields. Uh, first, we have our products at the top. 
and um, we have the credit card fields at the bottom. Now you can see that there's already a product added here. That's because I've used Stripe in JotForm before. So it's pulling in a product that I've added in previously. If this is your first time using Stripe or Stripe checkout or really any payment gateway for that matter, uh, you will have to add in your products first. So it's only showing this because I've done this pretty recently. All right, so uh, with all of that in mind, the first step in order to use the Stripe integration and then use Link is to connect to your Stripe account. So you can see that connect button up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. That redirects me to Stripe where I should be able to log in pretty seamlessly since I've done this recently. Um, it is going to ask me for two-factor authentication. So I have my phone right here, so I can do that. Give me one second. That is 894-950-950. All right. So secure on the end of the person who is setting up the form. It'll ask me to confirm my account and then connect, and that will redirect me back to my form. All right. So now we will see that that is connected. You can switch between live mode and test mode. Test mode allows you to play around with this without actually collecting any payments. You can set the currency below that. And below that, you'll see the payment type. So this is the reason you'll be collecting money from people. You'll see settings that are aligned with your payment method. So it's important to choose the payment method that most speaks to the product or thing that you're collecting money for. In this case, I'm selling products. So I'm going to see next a space where I can set up those products. You can also sell subscriptions and you'll see settings appropriate to that. And for user-defined amounts or collecting donations, really all you'll need to do is uh, add a label and a sub-label label to the box where people will enter the amount that they are giving you. All right, so these are all of the things that you need to set up before you move forward, but you may notice that there are additional gateway settings here. Uh, and if you click on that, you'll see a number of other settings. There are settings applied by default, but you can change any of those. So if you want to send an email to your customers after they purchase or charge customers automatically, all of these are things that you can determine here. Uh, the first thing that you see here and the main reason that I came in here today is that you can enable your one-click checkout with Link with this first toggle at the top. So in order to add link, all you need to do is use Stripe or Stripe checkout. And in the case of Stripe, you're just going to turn that to yes. Uh, and now link will be added to my checkout uh, process. Uh, last thing I want to mention here is that when I hit continue, that will save all of these settings. So you will see a small change in the credit card details. Let's do that. So now that I've done that, you can see that link information or that uh, secure one-click checkout with link has been added. Uh, once you hit continue, you continue, you'll be redirected to where you can add in your products and any product-related information. So I can edit my spooky cupcakes if I'd like by looking for the pencil icon. I can change the name or the description. I've added in some stock, uh, flavor options here. So this is what you see here, chocolate, vanilla, and pumpkin. Those are product options. I've also added in the number of dozen cupcakes people can select here. And if you sell something that's going to run out at some point, you can also enable stock control. So if you have 100 pens, you can't sell 101 pens. Back at that main menu, you can also create coupons and set the terms of coupons. It will generate a code that you can then share. Uh, you can add in shipping and tax information. And finally, you can create, edit, and uh, view, uh, preview an invoice format here. I'm not going into great detail with these because I have a resource, another webinar at the end that I'll share that does go into pretty thorough detail about all of this. But again, you're just going to manage all of your different product information here. And at this point, I am um, done with this. Uh, pretty easy to do. Again, if this is your first time doing this, there will be a few additional steps. You'll have to add in your products. You will also have to link your Stripe account with JotForm. So there will be a few extra steps there that didn't happen for me because I've done this recently, but there are clear instructions along the way. So it is really easy to do. And even your first time just takes another extra couple of minutes there. So at this point, my order form is ready to go. I'm going to go into publish and open in a new tab so we can see this from the consumer's perspective. You can see it looks very similar to what I just created. Um, and so now let's pretend that I am somebody who wants to order cupcakes. 
I can click on the cupcakes to choose how many dozen of each flavor I want. I will see the subtotal tax and total here. Tax is something that I've applied using the settings in the previous page that I just showed. And then below that are those payment details. Now, there are three ways that folks can move forward from here. So the first way is that they can move forward without taking link into consideration at all. So not logging into a link account and not creating a link account from here. And they do that just by using any other checkout, you know, the same way they use any other checkout field. Uh, they'd enter their name and credit card information and hit submit at the bottom, and then they'd be all set. Their order would go through. Now, if they do have a link account, uh, instead, what they'll do is look for this secure one-click checkout with link drop-down menu here and enter the email address. Uh, so we have that here. They will then be directed to also have two-factor authentication here. So once again, I can assure you a code has been sent to my phone that I can enter here. I'm not going to do that in this case because it has actual credit card information in there, but I do want to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to pull up a, a blog that my colleague Luke wrote here so I can show you, show you some screenshots. So this is the screen that we just saw with the uh, two-factor authentication added here. Uh, so let's say I went ahead and added that the very next thing that I would see would be my account information. So name and email are still here, but now we're seeing the credit cards tied to this account, as well as the option to add a new payment method. If I were to add a new payment method, that would also be saved to my link account. So you can see that for folks with link, this is super quick and straightforward and easy to use. Really all they need to do is enter their email, get that code and enter it, click on whatever payment method they wanna use and submit, and they're all done. The last option is to uh, create a link account from here. So let's say that I don't have a link account, but I'm a little bit interested in what this says here. So you can see securely pay with your saved info if you have an account or create a link account for faster checkout next time. I can either use that, or let's say I ignored that at the first step and started to fill in my information, my credit card information here. If I don't click on that and start to enter credit card information, or as soon as I start to enter credit card information, I will also see the option to just click to save my information with a link so that the next time I come across a link enabled checkout, I'll be able to use link in that case. So once again, same thing, I'll just need to enter my email and my phone number and I can create a link account from there. So as soon as my order goes through, my order will go through and I'll have a brand new link account. Um, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show from the demo. I do want to just show very briefly two additional things. Um, so if you were using JotForm apps or stores, the process is a little bit different for Stripe, but you'll still basically see the same thing. So in this case, I'm using the Stripe integration in a store. And when you go to enable Stripe, your basic settings is where you'll connect to your Stripe account. But in advanced here is where you will see the option to enable that one-click checkout with link. So pretty, again, straightforward and easy to use. The process is just slightly different, but you're still going to add in your payment integration the same way. You know, you just need to look for this advanced menu. The other thing I wanted to point out is if you are using Stripe checkout, checkout redirects people to Stripe upon checkout. So you don't have to do anything to add a link to that. Instead, you'll see link enabled by default. So in this case, I have a Stripe uh, checkout enabled form. At the, payment play, uh, at the payment stage, I've been redirected to Stripe. This is a Stripe screen that you're seeing now. You can see checkout.stripe.com in the URL. And I can choose to pay with link here. So again, that's the same one-click checkout that I can use just by entering my email and confirming with that code that gets sent to me. All right, so that wraps up our demo. As I mentioned, pretty short webinar today and hopefully pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, again, you can drop them into the Q&A. Um, I know this is a pretty brief and straightforward session, so I, I don't see any questions yet, and I'm guessing there won't be a ton of questions, but I did want to close with those resources that I mentioned. So two things. First, that blog that I just showed a couple of glimpses of, my colleague Luke wrote that. Uh, it's a really excellent resource that guides you through every step of the process. Uh, from what it looks like for somebody using link on the consumer end, and it has a screenshot included right alongside. So I definitely recommend checking that out. 
And also I mentioned that I've done a webinar previously about Stripe Checkout, where I go into more detail about setting up all of your products and all of the different settings that you have there. So that is also worth checking out if you'd like to learn more about just using Stripe and Stripe Checkout, generally speaking. Um, there's also a little bit more information about why Stripe can be useful and, and how it helps convert users overall. Um, these will also be included when we share our video on YouTube. So you will see this up on YouTube a little bit later today. Um, that's just YouTube slash the jot form, where you can just search for YouTube and jot form and you'll find it. You can see this webinar and all of our other webinars, uh, as well as tons of other videos on that page. You can also see additional webinars on jotform.com slash webinars and additional blog articles on jotform.com slash blog. So tons of other resources available to you. Again, you will see these resources linked in the description for this video on YouTube as well. And finally, um, if you do have any questions, um, please feel free to email me directly and I'd be happy to either help you myself or directly direct you to somebody who can help you a little bit better than I can. Some questions are more appropriate for a support team. So I'm happy to help or, or connect you with our support team. Uh, you can reach me at morgan at jobform.com, M-O-R-G-A-N at jobform. Last thing I want to mention is that we have a ton of upcoming webinars in uh, June and early July. So stay tuned for more and hopefully we will see you next time.